words for you. You see, everyone in one place or another have experienced a place where you find yourself spiritually dead or spiritually dry. Sin did that to us. Sin puts us in the place of a prison where we find ourselves locked into bondage, where we are living a life that has been desolated and isolated, separated from God. Sin is the thing that separates us from God. And so the isolation of this desolation seems to be hopeless. But when Christ came and gave us the power of his freedom, we became alive spiritually. We became alive spiritually. We woke up. We looked up. And we begin to see that there was a power that was stirring inside of our lives that can release into our lives an opportunity for freedom. And now the prison gates that we once looked through and the way that we saw it when God makes us spiritually alive, our eyes are open, our ears are open because everything is spiritual. Can you type everything is spiritual? Everything is spiritual. And what the enemy wants you to run, wants you to feel is that if your spirit isn't free, your life isn't free. But when your spirit has been set free, God comes to give you the revelation that the chains and the prisons that have been holding you back have to now bow under the power of the resurrected king. Can I get somebody to understand that when Christ comes to set you free, he gives you a power to set yourself free. I'm going to say it again. I said when Christ comes to set you free, he gives you a power to set yourself free. Some of you have been waiting for something to happen and God is saying I've already given you a victory and an opportunity to accept me and to acknowledge that I am the son and whom the son set free is free indeed and you've been waiting on God and God says I've been waiting on you to come alive I've been waiting on you to shift because the prison can't hold your mind when your spirit is free you might try to bind me but the reality is that when my spirit is free I shall be free indeed here's the revelation is that when Christ comes to set you free and preach and you think that you're waiting for the gate to be open but all of a sudden you realize that the gate was already open that you already had a power to set yourself free and you begin to say God why have I been waiting for something to break and something to change when all this time you gave your life so that I can have life and now when I'm free and whom the sun set free is free indeed come on when your spirit is free your mind is free your body is free I need somebody to shout the gate is open I need you to recognize that when he came out the grave he left it open that when he opened up the grave he left it open when the stone was rolled away he left it open and because it's open I can be free and free indeed here's the thing here's the thing that once your spirit is free it sets everything free now you start looking for the rest of you where's my mind let me get my mind in alignment with the plan of God because if you have the mind of Christ Philippians said let this mind be in you which is also in Christ Jesus your spirit starts to tell your mind mind we can do all things your spirit start to tell your mind mind I need you to come out of this your spirit start to tell your mind mind why are we sitting in this situation you're better than this you're bigger than this and the spirit starts to break the chains off the mind and then the mind starts to say wait a minute why have I been held back all of this time if God has already gave my mind freedom I need to come out and sometimes there's a struggle between your mind and your spirit and your spirit and your mind and your mind and your spirit and your spirit is trying to tell your mind and your mind's trying to fight against your spirit but how many of you know that your spirit has to have power over your mind because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world and what's your spirit bring your mind into alignment then they start to work together in sync when the spirit comes up the mind gets up when the spirit lifts his hands the mind lifts his hands when you start to walk then your mentality starts to shift and that devil know that he has no power over you because you're now being transformed by the renewing of your mind that devil knows that a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways that devil knows that the door has already been open and the way has already been made and the victory has already been won and once your mind gets the revelation that your spirit has been set free then you realize what have I been waiting for what have I been looking for what have I been thirsting for 
What have I been hungry for? What have I been searching for? Everything that I need is already done. And everything that he gave me, every battle I face has already been won. And when I recognize that this work that Christ did on the cross has set me spiritually free and mentally free. And if the sun sets you free, you're free indeed. Somebody release a sound of victory and command your mind to get in line with your spirit and follow your spirit. Now when your mind gets your spirit, your mind gets your spirit and your mind brings your spirit into alignment, it goes to get your flesh. How many of you know you need to get your flesh under subjection? Now when your spirit is in a line and your mind is in a line, now your flesh wants to fight. But how many of you know that God gave you a battle that is victorious over your flesh? I ain't talking about y'all religious people, but let the real people know that the last thing to get in line is my flesh. Because when my physical wants to fight against my mental and fight against my spiritual, but God says, come on out. And the fight is between your spirit and your flesh and your mind is pulling your flesh but your flesh don't want to come no 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 that flesh wants to fight to the better end but how many of you know that god will get your flesh into subjection your spirit and your mind has got to jump your flesh man handle your flesh and to that flesh fall out under the power of god say flesh you got to come into alignment because not only did his spirit get up and his mind get up but his body got up and if his body got up you gonna get up and his body came out you coming out and if his body is shifting you're shifting flesh get in line flesh get in line how many of you know Galatians says I've been crucified with Christ and I no longer live but the Christ lives inside of me and this life that I now live in the body I live by faith in the son of God me and gave himself for me. Come on Galatians 2 and 20. I crucify my flesh and I'm bringing it to alignment and I'm bringing it to alignment and I'm bringing it to alignment. My body's got to be healed because my spirit says so. My body got to be chased because my spirit says so. My mind comes into play. You won't be an alcoholic. You won't be addicted to drugs. You won't be a depression. You won't be in isolation you will not be in anxiety you will come into alignment and how many of you know that you gotta thank god that your spirit will lift up your mind and your mind will bring your flesh into alignment i need somebody to line up and give god glory i need you to line up and come on out i need you to line up because god came to set the captive free you to have good church. He came for your life to be better and have life more abundantly. He didn't come for you to show up on Sunday. He came so that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you can have victory everywhere you go. I need somebody to recognize that the flesh is what you see, but my mind is running my flesh and my spirit is running it all. Thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto God that of victory. Can you type it? Can you say it? Can you lift up your hands? He came to set the captive free. 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 And if you're free, you're free indeed. And whom the sun sets free is free indeed. No chains holding me. No prisons holding me. Holding me, no power holding me, cause greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And if you know that you got the victory, I need you to dance on it, I need you to shout on it, I need you to rejoice in it, release your sound, come on in here. He came to set the captive free, he came to set the captive free, he came to set the captive free. 
says free is free indeed I need all the free people to open up your mouth and release a sound what does your freedom sound like yeah he came to set the captive free he came to set the captive free he came to set the captive free no more chains no more chains holding me no more chains holding my life no more chains holding my life he's a chain breaker he's a mind regulator he's a healer he's a deliverer he came to set the captive free 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 i don't care what's holding you i don't care what's blocking you i don't care what's stopping you i don't care what's tripping you he came to set the captive free he came he came i tell your spirit to tell your mind to tell your body to line up tell your spirit tell your mind tell your body to line up tell your spirit to tell your mind to tell your body to line up 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 to tell your spirit to tell your mind to tell your body to line up to tell your spirit to tell your mind to tell your body to line up tell your spirit to tell your mind to tell your body to line up to tell your spirit to tell your mind to tell your body to line up he came to set the captive free he came to set the captive free he came to set the captive free no more chains holding me he came to set the captive free he came to set the captive free he came to set the captive free no more chains holding me what does the spirit say it says I'm free and get your mind to believe it whoever believes in the Lord Jesus shall be saved then get your life to line up with it you start walking like it the greatest trick the enemy ever tried to tell you was that you weren't already free that you needed somebody to come and let you out or get you out God said I gave you everything you need to get yourself out your deliverance is in your decisions I said your deliverance is in your decisions see too long we made Jesus just a person but we didn't follow the principles that he taught you see the logos gotta become Rima put it back on me I said the logos gotta become Rima the logos the living word has to become the applied word and when you practice the person and the principles of Jesus it sets your life free you can't just look at Jesus like a historic figure or an icon you have to look at him like a, a revelation that came into the earth to actualize and reveal the truth so that you can live the truth that you rep that he represents I said so you can live the truth that he represents so you can live the truth that he represents and so so when you follow the principles of Jesus it sets you free you've been wasting time sitting spiritually in that prison when the whole time the gate was open but you didn't know but when Jesus give you a revelation he said ah I'm out when your spirit get out tell your mind to get out because when your mind goes your life goes that's why he said give me your mind for my mind let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus and then when your mind gets alive it makes your body line up your body gets a revelation, I'm healed. I'm not gonna be addicted. I'm not gonna be stuck. I'm not gonna be broken. He came to set the captive fee. I'm out of time. That was your breakfast. I hope you get ready for some lunch because Pastor Hannah's coming next. It took the power of God. You didn't do this. God did it. You didn't do this. Those of you that used to have chains, but it took God to break the chain of the enemy. Those of you that know that your spirit man is alive. When I get up in the morning, I get up speaking in tongues. Before I do
Come on, say it's about to be a full resurrection up in here. Come on, I need you to say it's about to be a full resurrection around here. Every tomb is about to be open. So he gets your spirit. 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 It was a spiritual introduction. It was not a flesh introduction. He gets your spirit. Now once he gets your spirit, now everything else has to begin to fall in line. Yeah. Why would I just wake your spirit up, but then leave your mind and your body locked down? No, no. First thing, once your spirit is awakened, he gonna work on your mentality. The way you think. This is what the scriptures say. Watch me, you gotta start thinking different. You gotta start thinking different. So your mind, let's go Bible. The Bible says the carnal mind is dead. Come on here. The carnal mind is dead. But the spiritual mind is life and peace. Yeah. So I gotta go get your mind. Get your mind. Come on, spirit. Command your spirit yeah. to bring your mind. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus. The problem is, you've been thinking a certain way for quite some time. And the only one that's new is Jesus. So setting your mind free is not going to be that easy. There's a battle of the mind. There's a battle of the mind. And the enemy want to make you think that you losing your mind. Hello, I am. I'm losing my natural mind to get my spiritual mind. And God is patient enough. I'm so glad he's not like man. Because if you don't change fast enough for man, man will leave you. But he said, I'm committed to this. He will deal with you until he bring your mind all the way out. What you mean all the way out? Can I tell you something? Certain things that used to irritate you don't irritate you the way they used to irritate you. The way you begin to think. You never thought about getting up praying. You never thought about fasting. You never thought about digging deeper into God. You never thought about stop doing the things that you've been doing. But there's a transformation of the mind. And it takes time for God to get your thought pattern right now. For you to begin to think. What I did. I am not what I came out of. Because if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. And he begins to work with your mind. That your mind fall in line with the spirit. That your mind falls in line with the spirit. That your mind falls in line with the spirit. That when God said, give me glory. Your mind falls in line with the spirit. When God say, don't worry about them, I got them. I don't want them keeping you awake at night. You go to sleep with things that used to keep you awake. Your mind is at peace. Oh my God. Your mind is at peace. Why? Because I have never seen the righteous forsaken. No, you see. is in alignment with your spirit. Ooh, you start walking different. Oh my God. You start holding your head when you used to be depressed. You look like you got something and you ain't got nothing. Because before I get it in the natural, I got to get it in the spirit. And then once I get it in the spirit, I got to make my mind believe this shall come to pass. Is it obedient with the spirit and your mind? And let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. So you a servant. You don't look to get paid for everything you do. You do it for his glory. You don't do it for man to applaud you. You don't do it for man to recognize you. You doing it for his glory. You doing it so that they don't see you. They see God. So every time they see you with your hands lifted, they don't see you. They see your spirit. They see the God that is in you. Let's go. Let's get
that you want on the way out. Get all the way out. Do me a favor. Come on. Call the music man. I just want to get my worship. That I don't think the way that needs to be. Is it anybody? Is it anybody that, that don't think the way you used to think? Come on, yeah. That you're even the generational curses have been broken up off of you. Can you do me a favor? Can you lift your hands and worship God? That the mind of Christ is in you. That the mind of Christ is in you. That the mind of Christ is in you. Look at your mind. Your mind is free. Your spirit was free. Now your mind is free. You able to be creative. You able to think. You able to think that you can do some things that you never thought that you would be able to do. Your mind is free. You realize that you can go into the deep end. You realize that it's not just based on your degree. But you got the spirit of the living God, and the spirit of the living God will take you into territories that you don't even qualify for. Because it's not by might, but it's by my spirit. Oh, I'm going to come today. My grandmother didn't need to take us home. My mind. I need 
you not to say, I just got older. No, it's a lot of old fools out here. I need you to admit that it took a God to bring you out of the hell that you were in. I need to hear, excuse me, I need a worship break. I need a worship break because not only when he brought my body out, he destroyed generational curses and bloodline curses. He's going to make sure that your children never have to suffer what you suffered. I need you. Oh, my God. Stay like that for one minute. And they that worship me, and they that worship me, and they that worship me, and they that worship me must, must, must worship me in spirit and in truth. And in truth, and in truth. If you gonna worship me, I don't need to see your flesh. I need to see the spirit of God moving upon you and giving you the worship that you need. I need to see the spirit of God change your mindset that you used to be embarrassed, but now there's no shame in you because when you look at your life it took nobody but God to get you out can you do me a favor can I hear worship in the building can I see worship on zoom can I read it on the screen I need to be surrounded by those that worship the Lord in spirit 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 in truth tell 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 your spirit to tell your mind, to tell your body, oh my God, tell your spirit, to tell your mind, to tell your body, let's go. Tell your spirit, to tell your mind, to tell your body, let's go. Tell your spirit, to tell your mind, to tell your body, let's go. For I have given you power to speak to mountains. You're looking for somebody to lay hands on you? Behold, I give you power. Oh my God. Just tell your spirit to tell your mind, to tell your body, let's go. Who am I talking to? The Lord said, I'm investing too much in you for you to be right there.